I'm going to show a very quick little tutorial about inserting parts and connecting them with mates for those who might not have done this yet. So uh, first of all, I notice we don't have the wire tray in this model. So we are going to, let's see, in, we go up to there to insert. It's going to kind of scan through for things that we have. Uh, as I look through our list, let's do the wire tray. You can either expand the options. If you do that, you'll see the parts in that tab or you can also just simply click on the tab itself. Either of these is fine. I'll do, okay, and that appears in the model. I click down and it just kind of drops it in there and I do the green check mark to confirm that everything I did there is correct. Okay, now let me orbit around a little bit here. Now I want to attach that, this wire tray. This is a good example. I'm going to attach the wire tray to the back of this top piece. So um, let's do that. We go up to our different mates here. We generally just use Fastened or Revolute or Slider. Those are the three most common. Um, cylindrical could be useful in this one too for the actuator, but let's do a Fasten mate. All this means is that I'm attaching two things and I never want them to move from how I attach them. Okay. So let me zoom in here a little. I uh, jump right in and I kind of wave my mouse around. If, I, if it doesn't work, okay, there you go, zoom in a little more. I'm going to attach this kind of flush with the top. So you see all these little snapping anchors appear anywhere you wave your mouse. They do that. If they don't appear, just zoom in more or wave around more. But I'm going to attach this centered right there. That's going to be one of my mate connectors they are called the other one is going to be here on this face also at the top so that they will be flush when i click that i get kind of a little temporary vision of what it's going to look like now that is not exactly what i meant to happen i really meant for it to face the other way i actually want it to reflect around the z axis and when that is what i want i click this flip primary axis button or there's one over here as well i click that and that is now a little more like what i wanted um it still isn't actually perfect i actually want it uh, click that twice that's rotate what does it say reorient secondary axis so between those two buttons see that see that that is now flush doesn't matter that it's over here it's going to all work itself out soon the point is that they they connected together in the correct way that i want and now because it is a fasten mate they will always stay like that so this represents the fact that i could like uh screw or glue or you know bolt on two pieces together i'm going to accept that because that's how i want it notice it disappears because it goes back to where it was because it's also subject to other mates that are also happening but at least we now have this wire tray and now i start to think maybe this is not the right place for the wire tray because it's probably gonna kind of clash with things as this drops down um so you know what let me let me adjust this and this is a good tutorial too i double click back on that one i just made fasten number nine um instead of mating it to that top piece which is part one if people would name their parts we'd get a few more clues i'm going to get rid of that one maybe it should actually be on the back of this right there on that one there we go let's do that instead okay look at that i think i'm a bit happier with that it may not be quite as functional but for now that's going to be good enough uh, let me do a revolute one as well so you can see how that works a oh actually you know what else oh, no, that, that's fine um yeah so sorry let me do a revolute um some of these are revolute parts right now oops oh man we gotta fix that down um hmm let me temporarily fix this. Let me right click here. I fix it down so it doesn't slide around. You see how this has been done as a 
see it's that that's the revolute mate in action we can see if we scroll down the list we got three of them right there there's going to be one here let me zoom in there'll be one here on this hinge one on this hinge and it looks like there is one on this hinge as well yeah so let's kind of complete the job so you can see how those are created revolute mates we zoom right in we let it snap happily to the circle that's why it's great to have good accurate bolt holes and then we went around the other side and we are going to click again on that again it just kind of temporarily drops it it actually temporarily suspends any other mates that you had in place but if you accept it then it all comes together and now watch what's going to happen if everything is going well look at that they're all working in harmony we're clearly lacking a few more still but that is what your guys job is all about okay um all right that should do it i think i'll leave it right there that's a fun little six minute video thanks